Hey guys, okay, just got a bit of a uh, review how to uh, today. So, if you do follow me on Facebook on Outback Mini Models, I did a quick little video last night um, just on these new uh, Mig Ammo uh, all, brush, all brushes. So, um, I have been working on this uh, Kinetic Max Pro for quite some time. Uh, it's just a bit, a bit of a on and off project but almost coming to completion so I'm pretty much up to the weathering stage and what more of a perfect opportunity to show you these uh, oil brushes while I'm doing this so if I put this away just behind the um, products here for a second and I'm just going to be working on the machine gun nest at the top or whatever you call it um, okay. Just correct me down the bottom in the comments what the correct terminology for this thing is and just the rear door step on the back okay so i've still got to do a bit more highlighting and stuff like that but um yeah so i've got the um odorless thinners and from mig ammo uh, i've got some buff medium gray uh, yellow bone some white uh, dark brown black and starship filth okay um so whether we use all these colors or not that's they're just out just so if they do need them they're there and just got a just a old decrepit little fine fine little brush or we could just grab should have another brush ready at hand uh, or just use this one okay it's just another beat up old thing all right but uh okay so just gonna give you a look uh, first of all how these are as you open them up um very nice product okay and in and just before i mention in no way um shape or form am i sponsored by mig okay this is just a product that i bought for myself um love weathering it's probably my favorite part of the hobby when it comes to any model um so i sort of spend most of my money goes towards paint and weathering um, products so but yeah so this is the buff and then we're going to mix a little bit of white um, as we go along just to brighten it up a bit because I've sort of sprayed most of it with um, acrylics to brighten it up with an airbrush but um, you do notice these are clear okay so it's a hard nice hard clear plastic and, and also it's a nice screw cap so it's a beautiful thread too and you notice it's a little bit tight to pull out it's it's because it's got a uh no mess um tip inside it so it's like a v like a, a conical um entrance in there so when you do put the brush in there it goes in easy you don't bend the bristles but when you pull it out it's tight enough to like sort of screed all the paint off the um handle you can see it's a bit of paint i don't have to like just move this for a second so we get out of the bright light, you can see how that's most of the handle's white, and you can see a bit of the paint, the oil paint on there. But um, it is a very thin, like a thin oil, like it's not like not thin, thin, but it is thick enough to um, apply and shake up, but not so thick as like the artist dolls where it's just a big uh, chunk of paint inside the tube and you can't shake it at all. So that's what these are designed for. They are designed for modelling. Um, which is um, advertised on the bottle, bottom here, oil paint um, plus brush system for modelling. Okay, and these are 10 mils. It does say shake well before use, not for children under 10. And it's on the side there, it's uh, ammo of Mig Jimenez on the side, made in Spain. And yeah, it's a really, really nice product. So thumbs up to the guys at uh, Mig Ammo for bringing out another great product for us guys to use. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. Oops. Alright, so we're just going to, um, on the front of the book, on the, on the gun plate here. Okay, so we're going to grab some buff. Also, we're going to grab some white. So hopefully if I zoom in just a little bit, you can see. So just excuse the camera angles at the moment, guys. I'm not back in the usual studio um, I'm actually working away from home at the moment so this is kind of a temporary setup um, 
how long it's going to be, I have no idea. But pretty much all my paint racks, my benches, all my big my camera gimbals that I normally use to film um, aren't here. So I've pretty much got just a mini tripod um, with my camera clipped onto it. So that's probably the next best thing. So just do bear with me. So just don't go commenting about the crappy camera angles. Alright, so I'm just going to move the um, odorless thinners out of the way. And I do have like just a tissue. Or you can use paper towel or rag, whatever um, you want to use. But I'm just going to have it off to the side, off camera, just so it's not in the way. And that's pretty much just for taking off the excess thinners um, when we dip it in. Because you, you don't want to drown your brush. Um, you don't want to flood the surface with um, with thinners. Like you sort of just moisten just enough so you're spreading the, um, spreading the oil around and sort of taking off what you don't need and removing it so as you can see and I'm also gonna get the white one out but all we're gonna do if I can get it in shot sorry guys and all we're gonna do is just highlight and all I want to do is I want to just bring up the surface and um, think about when like some of the tutorials I've done with airbrushing how I generally um, spray the brighter areas or the center of the panels with a brighter color and that's pretty much all I'm doing with this okay this is my style this is how I paint um but you know depending on how oops being oil you can just get rid of that later with a bit of thinners but depending on how you paint how you weather um, the the technique and the application is going to be entirely up to you okay this is not a video to say you have to paint this way um, I'm just trying to show you how these um, how these work and what kind of effects you can get off these okay so we're going to keep going and then we're going to do just give it another dip inside there oops don't want that okay so just go and do another clean up like so and then just looking around now uh, i'm going to put a little bit on the mirrors here You don't need like you don't need much. It's especially small surfaces. We're only just touching it. Um, it's a pretty fine brush that you get with this applicator. If you really want to, just carefully run one down the middle. Uh, so just have another look around. That's a just for the time being we're just gonna put that down <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna give the white let's use this white here okay it's white so we're just gonna give it a bit of a shaker doesn't need an aggressive shake just just enough to get the paint sort of mix through and then Trying not to dip because I don't want to contaminate the uh, the tip of the brush with the buff under the white. Oops. Um, I mean, a lot of you guys have heard of the dot filtering technique. That's pretty much all I'm doing. Just sort of stabbing carefully, just stabbing the tip or dipping the tip onto the surface. And you can also on the surface on the top. Just put a couple more dots of white and probably a couple up the top. Don't need to go too crazy with the white because it's pretty strong. But uh, now that the um, the buff is dry a little bit, like being up here in North Queensland, it's pretty warm, so northern parts of Australia, so. We can just carefully just put one or two dots over the buff and that shouldn't affect it so we're going to close that up and then we're going to dip our brush into the odorless thinners take off the excess okay you can see if i get my hand it hardly leaves any residue on my, finger, on my palm of hand so that's what we're after and just carefully streaking down 
no, it doesn't really matter, you can move the brush how, how you want, depending on what kind of effects you need on your model, you, whether you're doing streaking, um, there's yeah, lots and lots of colours in the range too, so and definitely worth checking out um, the MIG Ammo channel on YouTube, and there's lots of tutorials and reviews um, on YouTube regarding the oil brushes. I'm just sort of giving you a quick look on on here because I don't actually I haven't done one for myself. And while I'm using them, I thought I'd do one just to show you guys how this works. But you can like swirl it around, and I'm thinking this paintbrush is a little bit too big. I might knock it down a size. So we're using a size. There, dude, I can't even see what size it is. It's been rubbed off, but it's a small one. It's not a. So all I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to create anything fancy. I'm just trying to spread spread the paint around um, so it's so uh, the panel itself isn't just one uniform color because so I think it's a US um, US Desert Sand. Can't remember which brand it was because I use about I probably used about six different brands of paint on this model, even just for the desert colours. Everything from um, Tamiya to Mig Ammo paints. I used uh, Italeri paints on this. Also used um, Mission models as well. Um, just got a reminder from my other half sitting on the other bench. He's modeling as well. It's probably all the tinkering you can hear on the camera. But if you do want to see videos from her and see what she's building, like definitely comment down below. Um, and then so on the mirrors here, all we're going to do is just put a little bit too much. All we're trying to do is just take away that harshness of the of the brush stroke and just blending it out and just sort of get this and just clean up the gun barrel or the grenade launcher barrel where I sort of Put on some paint where I don't want, we don't want it. Okay, so, I mean, it's very subtle, like, you don't really know, it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty hard model to show, actually, because of the colours. What I should have done is showed you on, like, a bit of black plastic, or a bit of black painted, um, a black model with some white or grey or something, just to really show you. But because this is what I'm doing at the moment, and it will be quite some time before I sort of have another model ready. So I don't really get much time to build these days. So all we're doing, as you can see, I'm just sort of just dabbing on the white. I'm trying not to create too many brush strokes, but more or less I'm trying to just sort of make it blotchy. And Sort of just keep dabbing the the uh, paintbrush and just trying to make it look all patchy. Like so. And then as we get as we get down to the um, lower sections of the roof.
you know, blend it out like so. But if you find it that you've taken off too much, <clears throat> which I have there, it's just a simple matter of going back to the um, to the oil brusher, bit of white, just start again. I mean, that's probably why. That's one thing I'm probably liking about using oils. It's something that you haven't seen me do a lot of um, over the past few years. It's it's kind of um, I mean, it's been around for a long time, guys. It's, it's nothing new. Um, just I'm finding it. I'm just trying to explore more ways to um, bring the models to life with uh, minimal mess I mean it's pretty it's not very messy doing it this way you don't have to run out a piece of cardboard as uh, Mig says on his video it's and I do agree with him when he's when he does say that like the tra traditional way of using oils is you know putting a dab on a piece of cardboard to absorb the oil and then using it that way but I've done that in the past and I've just have found and I have found that you do get a lot of waste um, maybe some well, pretty wasteful <laughs> it's um, and I hate wasting paint that's just one thing I hate doing um, it's not cheap over here in Australia um, it's probably one thing that my fiance noticed was the price of things when she come over from the States um, so yeah that, that sort of wake me up a little bit it's like And I do agree. It's most of the most of my strained followers here will probably agree with me when it comes to price of um, modelling products here in Australia. Like they sort of, we sort of get a kick in the guts with it. It's just because the Australian dollar is so weak compared to the rest of the um, rest of the world. But anyway, enough of that. I'm nearly done. For the white, and then if you find that's too bright whack another color let it dry and just just keep adding colors to it until you're happy with the effect i mean like that's that's nowhere near finished guys it's uh, i'm just gonna try and knock the light out a bit uh what i'll do is i'll take some photos and then i'll post them up on um on the outback midi models facebook page and then you can probably have a better look because i will take them in um in HD and it sort of comes up a bit better. I think photos look better on um, Facebook and then putting it up on YouTube. I think just YouTube YouTube just compresses photos too much so But yeah, so we're gonna have a quick look at the the, uh, the dark brown <laughs> Try not to make this video too long Alright, so, so basically around these windows here, you're going to have some shadow, so we're just going to apply the dark brown along the bottoms. You don't need much, you don't need to slap it on guys, it's, it's pretty strong stuff. And I'm only trying to create... Um, subtle shadows I'm not trying to like and if you want to just run a bit down the side along the recess you can do that as well and if you find that you don't like the effect um, that it's too dark or you put on too much paint for whatever reason um, you can just take it off guys it's there's no drama there If you guys have used acrylics, acrylic washes, once it's dried, you're in trouble with this stuff. Once it's dry, you can still get some thinners, take it off. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back with the moistened uh, paintbrush. Blend it out. See 
if I think that's too sharp in there, see, just sort of get your brush, just clean it up. If you need to run a bit around the sides and just move it around where you want it to be. And then with here, just clean the brush up a bit. And then just playing around the other with, with this yesterday actually too. Um, if you don't have any like washes at hand, or you know you're you're working away like I am, and you don't want to be lugging around you know bottles of washes as well, just carry carry these with you. And then in a little metal dish or a little plastic tray or whatever, just dip the um, tip of the oil brush in there, and then with with your tip of your paintbrush with some thinners. You can make like a really thin wash as well. That does work, guys. I tried it yesterday. Um, actually works quite well. I think it was like one, one little tiny um, dip of the tip on the on the metal on the surface, you know, in the bowl, and then you know, probably about a good two or three drops um, of thinners off your paintbrush. And um, yeah, there was a really really nice fine. Uh, wash like a pin wash or whatever you want to do with it you can definitely make filters if you sort of thin it out enough but yeah so if you sort of like move that around so you can just put it in there excess and that will Make a fine little wash in there, or you can spread it out. But what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to call it, um, create a shadow in there. I'm trying to make a pin wash, or just make a wash with it while it's in there. You can see how it's just moving around, and then from there, just clean it up a little bit, spread it out. So. Just leaving a little bit more thinners on the paintbrush as you normally would if, you, if you're blending because I, I do want um, the odorless thinners to sort of mix with the paint and to make it more of a wash then just you see it there it's just starting to like I'm not completely drying this brush off there's still you can, hopefully the camera picks it up you can still it's still quite shiny when the brush touches the surface because I'm trying to mix it with the um, the oil paint itself and just to make a more of a kind of a panel line wash and then just with the rest of the dry it off a bit now and then just sort of clean it up see that's just the type of effects you can do with it I mean it's pretty cool guys I'm, I'm really enjoying these um, and then <clears throat> but there's plenty of colors in the range it's worth going having a look if you go on an online store um, or just <clears throat> go to your local hobby shop they sell it um, get one try it I mean you won't be disappointed um, I was definitely wasn't so um, it's just a quick look I'm not going to show you the entire range of paints guys it's just there's just too many and I don't have enough um, just my current situation up here I can't really up, upload really big videos like I normally do but they will soon come back guys so just hang in there um thanks for all your support and um i'll definitely catch you next time um on the next video and don't forget to like this video um subscribe if you're not a subscriber and thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time see you fellas and these were the mig ammo oil brushes on the kinetic um max pro thanks guys catch up bye